I recently bought a new phone and all was peachy and great until I decided to switch from my Bluetooth headphones for more quality wired ones. And I hit a wall. My regular dongle was not enough as I learned that new smartphones have removed DAX completely from their phones. So no conversion on the phone, it has to be done externally. I used to carry two DAX previously, sometimes with me, but it was bulky and I gave up. I already have too much stuff in my pockets. When I walk, I don't need to listen to music in the most hi-fi way. But I do own a short Mojo 2 and an AudioQuest Dragonfly Red. So I'm not a huge fan of carrying portable DAX, which are not even meant for that use, or carrying DAPs, which are awesome and probably the best solution for Sonics on the go, but they are bulky and another device in your pocket. So I was in a quandary. What to do? Back in the day, there was a phones like LG V3, which had a really good deck inside. Then they removed the headphone jack and it became the beginning of companies really not caring for serious audio on the phones. Now the only progress is how much better the aptX will get with the Bluetooth audio. But Bluetooth audio will never be as good as wired. It is just a fact. Now that LG V3 was just an experiment, but Sony still believes in audio quality in consumer grade phones. So I heavily recommend Sony phones to anyone who wants a great modern phones with all capabilities for great audio. There is also that Moondrop phone, but it is not commonly available and even the phone part of that phone is not the best. So what to do now? I have to find a solution that is not so bulky, is easy to carry, but has a good tech capabilities and of course is able to read and convert 24-bit audio. And here comes the Ify Go Link, a literal dongle with a DAC attached and yet not much bigger than regular dongles. I was intrigued, plus they promised PCM up to 384 kHz and DSD 256. That's great. They even say that they remove a lot of jitter with a quality master clock inside. Lots of promises and does it deliver? It does. If you temper your expectations a little bit though. I tested this with two phones. One is my new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, which doesn't have a DAC inside. And the other one is Huawei P30 Pro, which has its own internal DAC. I used cheap Sony MDR EX110 headphones, but also expensive headphones like Bang & Olufsen Bellplay HX and Bowers & Wilkins. The reason for using the Sonys was just to test how much the DAC actually improves the sound. As, as I wanted to see like what kind of benefits will somebody get with having this DAC with some cheap headphones. The improvements with this DAC happened instantaneously when I switched between the Huawei and Samsung. If you use Deezer or Tidal or some similar streaming platform with a hi-fi package, the quality spike is really noticeable. And I think the most audible quality improvement was the depth of the soundstage, as I could hear all the details in the right and the left corners of the dynamic range. There is always some part of overlay happening in a song when clashing compositions are seasoned with nice layering of I know additional instruments to make the song bigger, more fun and deeper. These instruments are audible and have shape on the soundstage, not just a part of the sonic texture like how it is with a, I don't know, without using a deck. And each instrument is vividly presented more on the stage. This is done by organizing and structuring this information better. It properly puts instruments across the dynamic scale. Bass, mids and treble are far better organized. And it is a very neutral presentation. There is no showmanship or additional energy here coming from the deck itself. It allows the characters of your headphones to shine. 
A great thing about neutral presentation is how much it expands the sound. It gives the song room and space to breathe. And in that case, the sound just sounds bigger. It is also time to feel the transience, sustain and the decay of note. It's wonderful. It's really wonderful like when you have a neutral deck and a great headphones, really, really feel that. And do you know what's the biggest plus? You'd get this for only 60 euros. It is an incredible value. You cannot find something in this price range doing this much for less. It truly is a competitive price range. So the dynamics that this DAC brings to your songs and your music is just real, palpable. It truly puts a lot of details and a lot of emphasis on instrumentation around soundstage for your spatial feeling and just for the feeling of a bigger soundstage. And of course, you know, more details reflects in a better understanding and hearing and feeling the vocal as well. As this also separate, this DAC separates superbly well. I mean, this is a DAC, that's its main purpose, to separate, organize and create a transparent feeling. And because this is so natural, it does that superbly. I will briefly go through a few things I do not like so much. Like first, the build quality. I love the beautiful green and aluminum frame of the body and how compact it is. But the cables that connect the DAC and USB jack seems fragile. I almost always accidentally pull them when unplugging them from my phone. I always feel like I will snap them every time I unplug them. They should have chosen a bulkier cables. Secondly, the sonic character of this DAC is very flat. Your mobile phone is going to have a flat signal as well, and combined with this you might at first think you're getting no benefits with this DAC. It's only with continuous listening, when your brain starts picking up details and space, that you understand what it does. So it's a very neutral presentation that maybe could benefit from a few colorations. But that can be helped with equalization or with the headphones which are warm or bright. You know that Top Gear meme. Ify is brilliant, but I love this more. The audio quest creates a more engaging sound, more detailed and open. It is equally transparent as the Ify, but audio quest does everything else better. But the downside is that you need an additional dongle for it. The AudioQuest sells it that this is my second dongle from AudioQuest. I also have one for Short Mojo. That makes this whole ordeal a bit more clunky. It is also bigger and heavier. When you're outside, you can forget that you have the Ify with you. It's that small. But the AudioQuest, you will always know it is in your pocket. But it is also almost three to four times more expensive and in that comparison even though i love my audio quest the value is definitely on ify side the dragonfly red is more mature DAC. it organizes and extracts details better and also makes it more fun verve and gives it just more energy and excitement also if you use red and are an android user you need to download special software to bypass usb audio as it will not work correctly otherwise. Some communication between DAC and Android is not done correctly, and it will always cap the output, making the sound low. You need something like USB Audio Pro to correctly use it with your phone and headphones. Comparing AudioQuest and Ify, well, not oceans apart, AudioQuest definitely makes the sound more live, more energetic. To Ify's more natural presentation. But both of these decks organize correctly, both are really transparent. It is just that AudioQuest has a higher and richer dynamic range. It is just that AudioQuest extracts more details than Ify, but for four times more it should. And Ify to go toe to toe with transparency, with organizational quality, is a high praise for Ify. Ify Go Link is a very portable, quality DAC that costs just 60 euros. 
That is high praise. It details, open the sound, organize it correctly, creates a great spatial effect and makes your music more rounded, vivid and real. It is an unmatched value in this price range. If you can overlook the questionable build and flat sonic characteristics, it is a must have if you love music and have a smartphone. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoy this content, please consider liking and subscribing. Keep daydreaming and see you on our next video. Bye!